The Puma is a highly advanced infantry fighting vehicle that combines formidable firepower, exceptional mobility, and enhanced protection. Developed by Germany, the Puma was designed to meet the modern operational requirements of infantry forces on the battlefield. Its cutting-edge features and advanced technologies make it one of the most capable and sophisticated AFVs in the world. With a powerful engine, innovative armor protection, and a wide range of integrated weapons systems, the Puma offers unmatched versatility and combat effectiveness. Its ergonomic design and advanced situational awareness systems provide the crew with optimal operational conditions, ensuring their safety and effectiveness in challenging environments. The Puma represents a significant advancement in armoured warfare, empowering infantry units with a vehicle that excels in both offensive and defensive operations. The Puma, a formidable infantry fighting vehicle, is characterised by its substantial mass and robust construction. Weighing approximately 31.45 tonnes, which is equal to 69,300 pounds at class A level or up to 43 tonnes, which is equal to 95,000 pounds at class C level with additional armour, the Puma is a formidable presence on the battlefield. With a length of 7.6 metres, which is equal to 25 feet, width of 4 metres, which is equal to 13 feet when you permered, and a height of 3.6 metres, which is equal to 12 feet, the Puma offers a spacious interior capable of accommodating a crew of three and up to six passengers. This combination of size, weight, and crew capacity allows the Puma to provide effective transport and support to infantry forces in various combat scenarios. The Puma is equipped with a powerful 11.1-litre MT UV10 892 diesel engine. This engine generates an impressive 1,088 metric horsepower at 4,250 revolutions per minute, delivering exceptional performance on the battlefield. The vehicle features a hydropneumatic suspension system, which enhances its maneuverability and stability across various terrains. With an operational range of 600 kilometers, which is equal to 370 miles on roads, the Puma exhibits excellent endurance capabilities. It can reach a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, which is equal to 43 miles per hour on paved surfaces, enabling swift and agile movements in combat situations. The Puma offers different levels of protection depending on its class. In the basic protection class, a configuration which is equal to Stanag level 4 all round and Stanag level 6 plus on the frontal arc, weighing 31.5 metric tons. The vehicle is air transportable in the A400M however, the protection class C variant provides enhanced armour coverage as it brings all round armour to Stanag level 6. It includes large side panels that cover the flanks, acting as skirts to the tracks, a nearly complete turret cover, and additional armour plates for the roof. The side panels consist of a combination of composite and spaced armour, adding approximately 9 metric tons to the vehicle's weight. The Protection Class B, originally designed for rail transport, was discontinued as it was found that Class C could be transported by train and ship within the weight and dimension limits. The Puma is equipped with AMA P composite armour, featuring the AMA PB module for protection against kinetic energy threats and the AMA PSC module for defence against shaped charges. The basic armour can withstand direct hits from 14.5mm Russian rounds providing reliable protection against powerful heavy machine gun cartridges. The frontal armour offers defence against medium calibre projectiles and shaped charge projectiles, such as 40mm rounds. In protection class C, the flanks are up armoured to a similar level of protection as the front, equal to Stanag level 6 against 30mm rounds, while the roof armour can withstand artillery or mortar bomblets. This comprehensive armour ensures the vehicle's resilience on the battlefield. The Puma is equipped with the Multifunctional Selbstschutz System, also known as MUSS, a multifunction self-protection system, which enhances its defensive capabilities. The MUSS includes components such as an infrared jammer, UV sensors, and a fog grenade dispenser. This system enables the Puma to effectively counter anti-tank guided missiles and enhances its survivability in combat scenarios. Furthermore, 
The vehicle is designed to withstand heavy blast mines of up to 10 kilograms and projectile charges from below, providing comprehensive protection against explosive threats. The Puma is equipped with a powerful primary armament, the Rheinmetall 30mm Mark 30-2 ABM Tokanen. This Tokanen has a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute and an effective range of 3,000 meters. The 30 by 173 mm ammunition used by the Tokanen provides significant advantages in terms of size and weight compared to larger caliber guns. The Puma can employ two types of ammunition, a sub-caliber, fin-stabilized armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot with tracer also known as a PFS-DST round for high penetration against medium armored vehicles, and a full-caliber, multi-purpose kinetic energy timed fuse also known as KETF munition capable of air burst, ejecting sub-munitions. The vehicle carries 400 rounds of ammunition, with 200 ready to fire and 200 in storage. For secondary armament, the Puma is equipped with a 5.56mm HKMG4 machine gun, which is planned to be replaced by the 7.62mm HKMG5 with 2,000 rounds. To engage main battle tanks, helicopters, and infrastructure targets such as bunkers, the German Puma vehicles will also be equipped with a turret-mounted Eurospike Spike LR missile launcher, capable of carrying two missiles. The Spike LR missile has an effective range of up to 4000 meters and can be launched in either fire and forget or fire and observe mode. Additionally, the Puma is equipped with smoke grenade launchers for defensive purposes. The main back door of the vehicle can be opened halfway, allowing two passengers to scout and engage targets while benefiting from moderate protection. This combination of weaponry provides the Puma with a versatile and potent offensive and defensive capability on the battlefield. The development of the Puma, as the successor to the Marder Infantry Fighting Vehicle, was initiated in 2002. In 2004, the German Army ordered five pre-production vehicles along with logistics and training services. Subsequently, a budget of €3 billion Euros was allocated in November 2007 to acquire 405 Pumas, excluding the initial five vehicles used for trials. The Puma underwent rigorous testing and evaluation to ensure its operational effectiveness. It successfully completed cold weather tests in Norway in 2012, demonstrating its capabilities in extreme climatic conditions. In 2013, two Pumas were airlifted to the United Arab Emirates for hot weather trials, where they underwent assessments for suitability in desert operations, including firing and driving maneuvers. The performance of the vehicle was evaluated in terms of firepower, mobility, and the ability to withstand high temperatures. On April 13, 2015, the Federal Office of Bundeswehr Equipment, Information Technology, and in service support granted authorization for the use of the Puma IFE. Subsequently, on June the 24th, 2015, the Puma officially entered service with the German military, marking a significant milestone in its operational deployment. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.